Hey guys, CB Super. So I created a new title. It's called the DOS title. As you can see, it just makes things look a little bit kind of like DOS. Maybe not exactly. This actually originated from the typewriter effect done by Digital Vector Studios. If you haven't already seen that video, shame on you. But seriously, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Go check out Digital Vector Studios. They have a lot of great fusion videos. And essentially what I did was I just copied his tutorial and his technique and then I just created a procedural tool that does it all for me because I can't go through the same tutorial over and over and over again. I really liked the effect but I actually wanted to be able to use it from the edit page so I just went ahead and made it a little bit more procedural and then dropped it in as a title. So if you guys are interested in this title just head over to cbsuper.com come down here to the DOS title. It's the blue one that says DOS title on it. Go ahead and click on that. It will automatically download to your computer and then you can load it up into your title folder. If you're not sure where your title folder is, the easiest way to get to it is actually just to jump over to the Fusion tab, come over to where it says Edit Templates, Go ahead and click down on here and then click on Titles and then click on these three little buttons up here in the upper right of this panel. That's gonna allow you to show folder. Go ahead and click on show folder and then that will open up this window into titles. Go ahead and double click on titles and you can drop that DOS title setting file directly onto that pane. And then all you have to do is get out of it. You're gonna to have to restart the entire program because for whatever reason, it won't recognize it until after you reboot it. Once you have it all rebooted, you can go ahead and bring it in using the effects library. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the effects library and I could come down to titles and I can come all the way down and I can try and find it. There it is right there, the DOS title. I also have the star checked, allowing it to be stored inside of my favorites tab, but there's an easier way to find it. All you have to do is come over here. You see this little magnifying glass, go into the search and just type in the word DOS and it will automatically find DOS for you. And then all you have to do is grab that DOS title and you could drop it directly onto your timeline. Now, once you drop it on your timeline, you'll notice a couple things. If you're on a 1080p monitor like me, the scan lines might look a little weird as you scroll out, but once you scroll in, they start to make a little bit more sense again. So if you just click on the actual title itself, just like all the other Fusion titles, you have some options here that allow you to change the title. The first thing we come up to is the actual style text. Now I just put DOS title in there as a default so that you know that that is what the DOS title looks like. Of course, all you have to do is remove DOS title. You could type in whatever you want, something like CB Super. You can also change the font. Maybe I want to change the font to my undercut. It'll allow you to use any font that you have stored on your computer. So you can change the size right here just by changing the size really easily. And then you can move the title center left and right, and you can move it up and down. And the nice thing about this is that you don't have to go into the Fusion tab in order to adjust anything. It's all adjustable right here. So you can change the tracking just like you would in any text file. You can also change the type speed. So if you move it to the left, it will type on faster. Whereas if you move it to the right, it will type slower. Of course, you're gonna be limited to the length of your actual composition. Just know that the farther you put this type speed out, the longer it's gonna to take to type. So you'll notice that now we're getting to the point where it's actually starting to eat into the animation. So the cursor is kind of separate and it's a little fiddly in that we have to make it work. In order to make it work, you can either turn it off or you can leave it on. By default, it's set to on and you'll notice that it just blinks at the end of your words. What I usually do is I will put a space and then a period if I don't want the cursor to actually be covering up one of my letters. You use this right on, you can move it to the left if you need to adjust it and then you can move it to the right if you need to adjust it so it only covers the last letter. And you'll notice that if I put a space, it goes away. And then if I put a period, it will end up on the actual period, which is the way that I usually use it. Again, it's not perfect, but it's free and it's better than what you have right now, which is nothing. So you can change the scan lines and you can change the glow. Generally, I will leave it at the defaults, but you can take the glow off if for whatever reason you want to go with that kind of effect. You could even turn the glow all the way up, but I don't know why you would want to do that, but it is an option if for whatever reason you want to. So if you're looking to change the color, you can do that. It's actually hidden here in the second tab. If you come over to the second tab, you see that you can change the color pretty easily just by changing the color like you would any background. And you can give it an alpha or you can take the alpha away. So the nice thing about this is that, again, we don't have to come into the Fusion page. All I have to do is put this on the second layer and then I can come into this title generators, get rid of this DOS because it will keep looking for a generator called DOS, which there isn't one and then just come down to solid color. I can go ahead and drop this solid color down below the DOS and maybe I wanna change this solid color to a different color. Let's go with a typical DOS blue perhaps. And now we have like a more traditional looking DOS screen. 
So I really like the typewriter effect that Digital Vector Studios did in the original. And in fact, I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for the DaVinci Resolve Community Discord. There's plenty of help channels, so if you ever have a problem with anything in here, or if you're just looking to get a hold of me, you'll probably find me a lot faster in this Discord than you will by trying to get a hold of me either in the comments or emails. A special shout out to Simon Stansfield who linked this video a couple days ago, and I went ahead and checked it out and really liked that typewriter effect, and that kind of spurred me to go ahead and make this title for you guys. So if you haven't already checked out the DaVinci Resolve community discord, the link will be down in the description below. All right, so that's pretty much it for me. Make sure you guys go check out Digital Vector Studios and tell him thanks for making this technique because without his technique, this wouldn't be possible. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.